Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to the Pokemon Unite video featuring Serena coming through the jungle in a Master Rank game, having a fun time. Trying to at least, because you know, I got Gengar up in here, I'm trying to take my jungle farm as well. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Like, what do you do? Because ever since this buff has happened to Gengar, it's it's really hurt my feelings. I'm seeing him in pretty much every single game, whether I'm playing him or someone on the enemy team's playing him, or if I'm not, someone is in my team. And they either go lane or they just do horrible. Like, I mean horrible. Like they just I feel like they don't know how to engage a lot of the time and it's it's driving me nuts. Like it really is. And I know a lot of people feel like feel like that too, especially when someone else takes your main, for instance, right? And you're just like, wow, what are you doing, buddy? You know what I mean? That's how you feel in a nutshell. But overall, dude, we're playing Serena. We're having fun with her, considering her new update and everything. Very, very strong. Roughly about 22% increase overall in damage. Trop kick got increased on damage, lower cooldown. You got stomp increased damage, all that sort of thing. But, you know, we will be playing a game number two. I mean, jumping into another game after this one. Hopefully this, this one doesn't take too long. But we'll see. I mean, we do have a not so great of a team, right? So I kind of want to see if we can win this early. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. So we have no front line. Not out of 10, besides myself. So when I go in, I gotta automatically assume my team's probably not gonna follow me. It's solo key in a nutshell. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Nine tails level five. I'm level six, almost level seven here. I would be level seven, give or take, but you know, Gengar in a nutshell. Hey, wiggly tough though. We should be able to take this out though. This drop kick is actually pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good inside these choke points. That poor Greninja though. He didn't even get to play the game. But yeah, drop kick is actually pretty solid in choke points like that, because you drop your drop kick essentially there and guess what it's a big old aoe slow you can't really go anywhere right unless you got that eject button or you got x speed you can't really get out of that but you know everybody plays serena a little bit different you know give or take i don't really see her that often as much as we used to see her when she first came out but with this buff i am seeing her a lot more i do see her more so in lane than i do in jungle there must be a reason for that i think people like playing her in lane opposed to being in jungle i just feel jungle is her stronger suit Depending on your playstyle, like for me, my preference is to engage, right? I'm not here to do the most damage in the game, Mr. I'm here to get targets, catch targets off guard. Whereas Gengar here, he decides just to go in. I'm just like, all right, cool, bud, you got it. You got that. I was like, all right, he's getting his resets off. We should be fine to take out this, uh, this Dreadnought. I mean, at least that's the end of the day. It's like, well, I want to. So, I mean, he does solid. He gets in there, gets his skills, and that's fine. If we can actually burn this Dreadnought, I hope, without it resetting, it'd be great. I'm also pretty low in HP, so Ninetales is here, really helping me out right now. So we're able to take this, and I don't want to in get involved in this team fight. Like, it is what it is. Like, if I'm pushing that goal, I'd rather not. So that's probably going to get myself killed, being greedy. Now, they are playing with the Hoopa. So I have to keep that in mind as well, considering Hoopa has a Unite move. I can bring everyone to him and stuff. But it's not going to stop me from being aggressive, because I feel like in solo queue, if I play passive, especially when I'm playing Initiate, like an Initiator Pokemon, my team will play passive, my team will follow me up, you know what I mean? I want to sit here and play aggressive as Serena, like I always do. I'm always aggressive on this Pokemon, because, like I said, I'm going into that fight. When I'm in that fight, I'm in that fight. If you don't follow me in, we, we might not we might not pull it off, you know what I mean? But if you're there, 9 out of 10, I think we got it. Should I, should I stay here? What do you guys think? I probably should roll out, right? I probably should leave. Like, I think I should probably left a while ago, but... Yeah. I wanted to see if I can help out. I mean, they were able to take down the Wheelie Tough together and they left the DPS alive, but what are you to do? Thankfully, thankfully Gengar hit that. Because Dragonite was surely missing that Hyper Beam for the second time, so it is what it is. But, like I said, they do have a Hoopa. So I gotta respect the portals, I gotta respect the plays. And we do have some OPs. We got Gengar right now, who's actually doing pretty solid in the metagame, considering the new buff. Dorelodon, everyone's gonna say he's busted right now, to be fair. But... So far, I have not really run into that many Dorelodons who pose an issue. I'm not saying that they haven't been good. I'm just saying in a solo queue world, it's really, it's like hit or miss, you know what I mean? This positioning with that Pokemon is like Cinderace, just like Sidueye, is super key to performing well. If you don't perform well position-wise, you're just going to run into a team fight in melee range and just try to shoot people down and just get blown up. Like, not out of 10. Let's be fair. Now, it looks like we're all down there grouping. Trying to push a goal. We're trying to do something silly down that bot side, even though Dreadnought's not up. So I'm up here, on the way down. Let's see what we can do. Gengar's over here on the Dreadnought like he should be. But he might just peel off. I mean, he gets a kill, right? So that's value. So we should be able to take this, no problem. I don't see why not. Dragonite has yet to pop his Unite move. He's been holding that Unite since the last time. I mean, he almost died in top lane versus the Greninja, so that's awkward. I mean, I guess that's good, but at the same time... 
there's probably engagements that you guys could have already won. But hey, it is what it is. We do have a Rotom spawning in the top side. I'm feeling good about this. I am. I'm feeling really good about it. We have a Dureladon and Gengar's going top. Greninja's down here just being a goober. About to get killed by me because there's nothing else he's going to be able to do about it. It's just... Oof. They eject button though. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, buddy. Get back here. Oh, the movement speed. Your boy might be out. Oh. Yep. He got me there. Hey, teleport. Wait, 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 wait. Get back here. Hold up. Hold up. It's our moment. It's our moment. Get out of here. It's our moment. We got this. We got this, buddy. Go home. Nice. Let's go. Is that all five? I think it's all five. Is it all five? Oh, snap. It's all five. Oh, there it is, boys. Game number, I guess game number one. We're going to dive into game number two. That was actually pretty quick. Was that like a six and a half minute game? Let's go. But overall, man, I'll see you guys in the very next one. We're going to hop into game number two. See you on a split second. Let's go. Hey y'all, how y'all doing man? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone around the world. Welcome back to another Pokemon Night video featuring Serena coming through the jungle in that Master Rank game. Having a good old time dealing with a Ghastly. Sadly enough, these Gengar players, dude, ever since this update, where Gengar got that buff, it just... It hurts me. Every single match that I see, as you guys just chilling over there, you're not coming out for the gank, no one's paying attention, it is what it is. But... Every single game that I hop into, there's always a Gengar now, and it's bothering me. Like, it, it really is. Like, in, inside, it's eating me up. Because every single time I see a Gengar, on my team, the enemy team, or whatever, the enemy team Gengar cut does a lot better than my team's Gengar, if I'm not playing Gengar. And it's weird, because 90% of the time, I'll see Gengar, you know where he goes? Lane. Why? You know what I mean? To stop. <laughs> like, earlier today, we played with a Decidueye, right? Okay. And Gengar. Alright. They both went top lane. They both call top lane. So I like I, I don't get it. I, I'm not understanding the appeal and why that's a thing, but it's a thing apparently. And I see a lot of people in the Discord and the chat and comments, all that sort of thing. People talking about it. Stop, man. Stop doing that. You're really hurting your team. Like you really are. But either way, dude, we're playing Serena, we're having a good time. We're playing her just because she got a recent buff, right? At the end of the day, her stomp got increased. Her uh, drop kick got increased on damage wise. She's up like 22% overall increased damage. It's pretty massive, to be honest. For a Pokemon like Serena to get buffed is kind of crazy because if you guys remember how strong this Pokemon was on launch day? Yeah, I know. I know y'all remember. PTSD for everybody, right? There's not really much you were able to do in that situation. You could 1v3, you 1v4, you 1v5. She had the sustained actual kick. She had the sustain overall with either stomp. She's very, very strong. Look at me, man. I'm sitting here taking this fight, and I know I shouldn't, but I'm doing it anyway. I thought we were able to get that goal. It's okay. We were almost able to do it. That's all right. The Rolladon just decided to roll out. I think we're dead here, bud. Yeah, it's fine. Dude, he, his animation sound effects is too darn loud. I need to fix that. But in any case, man, they buff her stomp damage, okay? And then they lower the cooldown increase and increase the damage of prop kick. Fantastic. She gets that She gets that little bit of damage back. And at the same time, after level 7, she, she'll heal more for her autos. So there's that, too. So it gives her that extra sustain. And her being an all-rounder, she can go jungle, she can go top lane, she can go bot, she can do whatever she wants to, just like every other Pokemon can, per se. But, Serena, though, once she gets rolling, she's very hard to stop unless you make that misplay. Unless you make that misstep, everybody's not paying attention to this Dreadnought. Nobody apparently cares. I got Gengar in the jungle taking my jungle fire. It's just like, what do you do? Like, really, like, what do you do in solo queue in a nutshell? And there's been times where, like, I'll play I'll play a game, right? I'll hop in. And I go to the jungle. And it's like every Talonflame player, they just, every Absol player, they just automatically, they're just like, I'm going jungle. Like, they don't ha even have to say anything. So I can call jungle, and like, 10 seconds on the clock left. And they'll be like, I go jungle. So it's like, what do you do? Regardless of who you're playing. So I'm sitting here playing Serena, right? And 9 out of 10, Serena in lane and solo queue is not that great. And she's not. Why? Because everybody and their brother plays DPS. So with that said, that means you probably have another DPS partner with you. You might have a Greninja with you, sadly enough, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's very, very hard for you to actually come online if your lane doesn't do well. Especially if you got your Greninja up here overextending, trying to score goals, and there's an absolute enemy jungler, he gets blown up, then you're screwed. You know, it's just like, there's a lot of things you gotta think about. But... For those of you that actually do play this Pokemon still, like religiously play Serena, 
Y'all are gonna love this buff. Because for me, I love Stomp. I love the ability, I love the the action that I can have on a team fight. In other words, when I'm playing in a stack, a trio or fives or whatever, I'm not looking to jump into a team fight and do 130k, 150k. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking to catch you off guard with Chalk Kick, catch you off guard with Grass Glide. You know what I mean? Either way. Like getting into that team comp, getting into that, that team and then stomping you into the ground, essentially. Because for those of you that don't know what Stomp actually does, it's like a mini stagger, like a mini stuff per se. So what that means is, as soon as you stomp a target, they can't move for like a split second. They can't do their action type thing. It's it's really, really strong. And believe me, I'm up here taking these fights and I know I shouldn't be, but Dreadnought's coming up. I'm trying to get some Unites up here blown off from the enemy team. I'm trying to do something here, so Slowbro and whoever's bot side can actually get that. I mean, it's a Gengar down there, right? It's Gengar and Slowbro, they should be able to do it. Dreadnought's going bot side. Trevor up here are just, just cleaning house, essentially. He's doing great, and he's still pushing targets out of my stop circle. I mean, it is what it is. Sylveon, go home, you're drunk. There's just certain situations where, like, this right here, I don't want to be involved, right? I really don't. I want it to go home. But, uh, like, what do you do sometimes? Like, you just let him to his own devices, you know? Let him die or whatever, and I should roll it out. Because now he's leaving, you know what I mean? Get myself caught out. It happens. You try to be that team player, and sometimes it just bites you in the butt, right? But by the way, though, for those of you who don't know yet, and picked him up, give him a shot as well. Dreladon is actually pretty bu busted right now in this metagame. He's very, very powerful. But overall, like when you're playing Serena into a Dreladon, she feels super strong. Because 9 out of 10, most players in solo queue don't have good positioning. Let's be honest, they really don't. And I say it like that because it's, it's truth be told. That Gengar up here taking the core fish instead of being over here trying to take the, uh, the Rotom, I mean. Getting guard in the nutshell, I swear, sometimes. But, it's like, when you play against a Dureladon, right? They're generally not in a good position in solo queue. So sometimes they'll be just sitting there casting Hyper Cannon, or Flash Cannon, and you can just drop kick on top of him, you can Grass Glide on top of him and stomp him to the ground. He has to burn his Unite move, or his team has to turn around and deal with you. You're doing a great job, because you're pulling off damage from your team, from your front line, by being on their back line, you know what I mean? Like, you're doing your job. At the end of the day. It's just like you see a Cinderace player when they're down there fighting at that Dreadnought, right? You, Your first instinct, you should automatically just assume that this man has Unite Move and he's going to try to steal this, this Dreadnought because it happens, right? 90% of the time. And at Serena, the best thing that you can do is go straight for Cinderace. No matter what, ignore everybody else, go straight for Cinderace, get ready to pop that Unite Move. Because as soon as you pop that Unite as he pops his Unite, you cancel his out. His goes on cooldown, you do damage. You know what I mean? And then his team has to peel back and go for you. And then what happens? You create value, you create space for your team. There's a lot of a lot of good plays that she can do. And I think she will fit fine in this metagame. You know, especially considering Lucario's been there, right? Stretch. You have the opportunity to come back, not as strong as you once were, but you can still have the opportunity of being in the game as Serena and doing well. Now, I already assumed Sylveon was in the bush. I did see her. I was taking out my Corpus jungle here. So I know she does have, uh, what do you call this thing, Gold Getter. So I might as well come up here and see if I take her down. But my team is in Zapdos fit. There's two targets up here. There was her and there was uh, Eldegod. So Eldegod's probably back over at Zapdos. And we should be golden. If we stomp her into the ground, she's not going to do anything with Mystic Fire versus the Serena. It's just not going to happen. I don't care if we got red buff, blue buff. is not going to happen. I'm going to kill you. No, 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 no. Eldegod's hard. She just, just gave up. That's fine. That's cool. And we're able to actually go ahead and submit this one in for a victory. Last voice, bro. I'm just gonna ignore you. Catch you later, buddy. Feel she's she's really really good now. Like I mean, 22% increase overall damage this might not seem like that much, but you gotta keep in mind buffs and nerfs to other Pokemon push other Pokemon up in the meta and lower other Pokemon up in the meta. You know what I mean? By the way, man, this has been Paul's players. Hope you guys smash that like button. Come join that Discord. Tell me I suck. It is what it is. I will catch you guys in the very next video. I may actually, may actually stream tomorrow. Even though I said I wasn't going to stream on Mondays because I do have work on Mondays, but I may stream when I come home. We'll see. It's an early day for me. By the way, you guys stay safe out there, and I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna head out.
Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up.